Okay. Good morning, everybody. I am super excited today. Uh, we have a, a wonderful guest speaker, but before we get started, I want to go over some uh, announcements and things that I like to do every day, and it's just a way for all of us to keep ourselves reminded of, um, you know, things to do on a daily basis um, that are slide edge decisions. So the first thing that I'm always doing is my daily gratitudes and mine today are uh, grateful for my hometown basketball games featuring my nephew of course grateful for mexican coffee creamer i found that recently and oh my gosh it is so yummy in the coffee and uh, grateful for my mac computer who so far hasn't let me down in many many years and i love that um, it's so simple and i can just get on my computer in the wee hours of the morning and do all the things i need to do and these are my SMART goals. I'm not deviating this whole month. I'm doing my eight points a day and getting my $1,000 in new personal production for the month. And uh, one of the things about SMART goals is being specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time-framed, and easy to do. Of course, that means it's easy not to do. I want to remind everybody about the February booster bonus. This is how we can all really... Uh, bring people into our business. We've been planting seeds and we've been cultivating them and now we're harvesting them and bringing new people into our business and creating a whole new team. And for doing that, for doing the simple things of, you know, building our business, we are getting a great cash uh, promotion from the company on top of all of our commissions. And so it's a great incentive. It was uh, wonderful in the month of January to help us and all of those people that we brought in to the to the business we want to be helping them to get their three so that they can um, also benefit from this promotion get paid back their investment and a lot of money on top of that i kind of did a little a diagram the other day on how that works but basically you know you get your three and you help somebody get your three there's even more bonuses involved and commissions so it's all about building a new team and for those of you that have been in the business for a while this is a great incentive to booster your team that's what it's meant to do that's what it's meant for and that's what um, makes it fun as a team as all of us coming together and really doing whatever we can to help each other do that. So of course, what does your eight points look like? Uh, every day asking yourself the question, who are you exposing your business to and your product? How are you exposing it? And when are you exposing them? So that's your calendar and you are keeping your calendar full of when it's convenient for you to um, make sure that you're doing the exposing process. Um, this is our eight point chart, so if you don't have it, please let me know and I can send it to you, but it basically highlights all of the different things on our 10 core commitments, plus it gives you points for the highest payoff activities, which are you know, bringing guests to events, doing uh, before and after pictures, exposures, and training, and I think that I've seen an, a, a huge influx on our team page of people taking pictures of their activity, which only creates more activity. And so I really, really um, welcome all of your pictures and all of your, if you don't have pictures, just put down your activity and share because I know it's very motivating for not only the people that are on this um, Zoom, but for your team to see you as a leader doing those activities. And when you do post your activities, tag your team, tag the people that are on your team and let them know what's going on and, and really promote them to promote their activity. It doesn't matter how much activity, we just wanna see a lot of activity. Um, and this is the tracker that Randy came up with. It's super simple. And so if you like working with a tracker, uh, you can utilize this with our, our Epic tracker and um, you know, really just see what kind of activity is going on in your business, which I think is something that mentally you know, is always, it's emotional. You're looking at it and you're like, wow, I'm doing a lot of activity or wow, I'm not doing a lot of activity. Um, Friday, I wanted to remind everybody that this Friday, on a Camp is gonna be doing a um, market party over Zoom for our Hong Kong prospects and our Hong Kong uh, people that you know know people that are in Hong Kong or want to invite people that speak English so it is going to be in English 
I don't think that Anna has learned um, how to speak Mandarin or Chinese in the last five years, but she's going to do it for us, and we're super excited about it. So please tune in or get your people that may have ties to Hong Kong. Um, she's going to do a regular market party, and then we may have some Q&A. Not exactly sure, but I know she's um, uh, very, very excited about helping us out there in doing that. Uh, and then the market party here in town um, in Woodland Hills near near uh, SoCal in the San Fernando Valley on the 23rd, Robert and Caroline is going to be in town from San Francisco, and she's going to be doing the presentation with Robert. And I really urge you guys, if you have a market party in your town, a consistent market party or something that you're doing, just just send it to me or put it on the page. And just let me know so that I can promote it to this mastermind group because the whole idea is for us to give this information to our team and keep them informed of ways that they can bring guests and to really um, expose our business and our products and, and all of that. So we're really excited about that. I'm excited that Caroline's going to be doing that with Robert. And um, here we go to our speaker. So this is Laura. You guys all know Laura. Laura is an amazing leader. She is somebody that I met through Robin about four years ago. Uh, her background, she's a, not only an actress and a performer, she's also been a very successful wedding planner. She's also an esthetician that, that, and she knows a lot about product. And of course here you can see that she likes the water. And <laughs> I'm trying to get my, I'm trying to get my water in today. <laughs> she likes the beat and here, Thing. I love the beach too. So I saw these pictures on her Facebook and I thought I'd share them with you. But Laura is a regional marketing director and she is, um, we are running for her to go to national marketing director. And she is a wonderful person that I use and people use um, for great information about product. And what she's going to talk about today is basically prospecting correctly with how to. Uh, get your bottles out, how to expose the product properly so you get the very best result, and, and, and you know how to follow up effectively. So I'm going to turn it over to Laura. I'm really excited for you guys to hear her train. And thank you again, Laura, for, for giving up your time today. Thank you, Annie, for having me. Can you guys hear me okay? Great. Um, well, thank you for that warm welcome. I am so excited to be on here today. Um, I'm so passionate about Miriam. This has been such an amazing vehicle uh, for me and my family. And I, I really um, am excited because, yes, I have an esthetician background. Yes, I field a lot of these calls, but no one needs to be an expert. We have it all. No one has to be an esthetician. We want to keep this simple. We are really here just to deliver the message. We have everything. We have the science behind us. But for you guys getting our product out there, it's so important that we're setting up the message correctly. We want you know, our prospects to have the best chance at a great result. And our products are different. They are completely unique to the marketplace. And so it's important that when we are sharing these products that we have confidence, that we are quick, we give exact information, we follow up. So I want, if you guys can grab a pen and paper, I wanna give you a couple of little tools because even the new person on here, um, you know, most of you are probably already doing this, but really this is for us to help lead down into our new people, into our teams, because this is a business of duplication, right? So we want to all be doing the same activity. So, and everyone's skin is different, but if we can set up a couple of really simple steps, people can have a lot of success. And so number one, when right now we have a plethora, but I want to start with just our night cream, you know, depending on what you're sharing, um, it's really important, number one, that people know that they have to put their other products to the side. So when you're presenting a bottle, you want to have excitement. You want to share that we know we have something unique and different, but I always like to ask them, what are you washing your face with now? And, you know, people, some people aren't washing their face at all. Some people are using a plethora of things. But because our product is a molecule that works on a cellular level, it's very different than the products that work on the top layers of the skin. It's really important that they're going to use just something very mild with this. So um, right now, 
we, hopefully we're going to be getting a cleanser very, very soon. But until then, most people don't even know what a mild cleanser is. And so, you know, if someone's using Cetaphil, that's not my favorite. That's great. But if they have an active regime, I tell them, right now, I want you to just take the Nerium experience. And I have a cleanser that um, I've shared with most of you. I'm going to put it on the team page because what I've done now when I'm sampling out, I actually bought one. You can get it for $8. It's very mild. It's, it falls, it's organic. But um, I hand it out with my five-day feel-good experience. And that's something that you guys can do. Now, not everyone has to do that, but we just want to make sure that people are using a cleanser that does not have anything that's regenerating in it, glycolics, um, anything that could regenerate the skin. So uh, we tell them that, um, you know, we have to use water with this product, right? This is pure concentration. So at night, they're going to cleanse their face with a mild, mild cleanser. Um, they're going to use lots of water. Now, when I say lots of water, we don't want it dripping off the face. We want there to be sli slippage, so it's going to feel like a face wash. And then they're going to fan their face. It's going to slightly tighten into a little slight mass. They can go to sleep. It's not going to get any residue on the pillow. They can kiss whomever good night, but they're going to go to sleep with this on. We want to prepare them that this is not going to feel like a cream. It's a treatment, a night treatment. So that is very different. Some people are used to heavier creams at night. So we want them to know we don't want them to confuse tightening with drying. This is going in and working on that on the cellular level, very different than the products that work on the top layers of the skin. So that's an easy thing to say. A lot of people will say, oh, I'm really sensitive. I say, perfect. This is for sensitive people. This falls in the hypoallergenic category. Most people know what hypoallergenic is. That's for sensitive skin, but it's an active molecule that's working and changing the skin, and that's why we're having such great results. So you're always showing pictures to people. You always want to have those on your phone to defer. You know, I like to have, if I know I'm meeting with someone, I try to have uh, pictures that may match what they're going through. If not, you just want to have pictures to show people. That's very, very important. Um, and when they see these photos, most people are like, oh my gosh, wow. So something else that's really important is that we, we want to under promise and let the product over deliver because we have such a phenomenal product that is going to happen. But if people are going into this thinking they're going to get these results and the five, they feel good experience, you can be setting yourself up or setting them up, uh, for, you know, not failure, but to, to not get the results they're, they're thinking are going to happen. And so it's really important that we let them know this is a feel-good experience. And, um, you know, to see the changes, all these pictures are 30 to 90 days, uh, but we have that 30-day money-back guarantee, which makes it great. Um, but right now, with that feel-good experience, they're going to leave with the night cream. If you have a day to leave them, then they're simply going to rinse in the morning. You don't have to rewash your face, just rinse. You're going to apply the day cream. And now that we have our fabulous eye serum, um, something that's really important, if you are not going to be with a person to sample the eye serum, it's very important that they understand how to use this because this is not like other eye serums out on the market. If people are used to using an eye serum, um, they're going to dab it on and it just absorbs into the skin. But because we have an instant effect as well as long-term, pictures are everything. Whether it's the night cream, the eye serum, we have to have to get pictures. And I know sometimes that can feel awkward. Or if we're sending out our sample packs or sending out a bottle, especially if you're sending out a bottle, you guys, this is liquid gold. And that's the way you want to present it to people. You know, I'm sending you my liquid gold. Uh, so when you get this, I want to make sure that you are going to have the best experience possible. And I want to see how, you, how this is different. So if we can jump on the phone for two minutes, five minutes, you know, saying how this is different than anything you're using will hopefully compel them to get on the phone with you. You can either do a quick FaceTime um, or just make sure that they are truly taking their before picture, same lighting, same angle. And you need to walk people through that sometimes. You know, everyone's used to selfies, but this is a little different because we really want to get in and see the areas where we want to have improvement. Um, so I'm never giving anything out without getting a picture. People are so used to looking at their faces on a daily basis that they, they don't see the changes. Even myself, when I was ready to take my 30, 45-day picture, I think I waited 45 days because I didn't think I had seen a change. I was blown away. I have very problematic skin, but I did not. I knew I was feeling a difference, but I wasn't even sure that I saw something until I really had my picture side by side.
So having those pictures, uh, whether they're here with you or whether that we get them. And, you know, you want to make sure that I always tell people, use your fourth finger. Pat, 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 pat. You're going to hold that. You want to remain expressionless until it sets. It's a cream to powder finish, very different than typical eye serums. So once it sets, you're going to wait. I like to wait 10 minutes. Yes, you can do two minutes. You know, it all depends on where you're at, what's the, the situation, how much time you have. But two to five minutes, um, it's amazing to take those after pictures then. You know, we don't want to go more than two days. I typically two to three days at most without checking in with people that are either first-time product user that have purchased from you. And this is one text that this is my go-to text that I follow up with every single person. And what it is is, hey there, however you want to address them, hope all is great. Wanted to check in and see if you've been able to be consistent with the night treatment or the eye serum. You know, if you've been able to be consistent over these past couple days. And if so, are you loving how your skin is starting to feel softer when you rinse in the AM? That's really for the night treatment. Hey there. How are you checking in? Have you been able to be consistent with our products, the night treatment for the past couple of days? If so, are you loving how your skin is starting to feel in the morning when you rinse? And this gauge a couple of days in is going to help you so much. You're going to be able to see, are there one using it? Because if they aren't, we either need to get that bottle back and say, oh my gosh, are you going to be able to finish out the five days? Because if not, I have someone that's really excited to use it. Or you're going to find out that, yes, actually, I am noticing my skin is feeling softer. Or you may get, you know what, I'm feeling a little dry or some objections may come up at that time that instead of waiting weeks, um, we can catch it right away and we have somewhere to go with them. So, you know, at that point, if people are having objections, then this is the time you want to get someone on the phone with you. Now, Right now, when you say get someone on the phone, what does that mean? I want everyone here to feel confident in that all we're looking for is, are they using any products that could be interacting? Um, are they using enough water? And those are the most important things that I have found, that tip, nine times out of ten, people are intermixing with some product. I think maybe some of you guys saw that I posted an eye serum photo. A girlfriend of mine had used the makeup remover wipes before I had gotten there, and her skin was irritated. She's like, yeah, these irritate me. Some people do great with them, but with our product, I found they're too drying. Literally, you guys, over the past almost four years, this has been the same thing over and over. The wipes really, really do not work well. There might be one or two people out there that do fine, but for the most part, if people are using wipes, I tell them, for now, let's just put it to the side. And the cleanser that I'm gonna share with you helps remove makeup for women. Um, or you wanna find something more gentle. I know co coconut oil is something that people use, just anything that's very mild. Because again, this is hypoallergenic. All of our products are hyperallergenic for sensitive skin, but they have active molecules that are changing the skin. So we want to use just those two simple verbiages. People can relate to that. You don't have to be an esthetician to say hypoallergenic and active molecule. So those should be in your wheelhouse. Um, you know, once, so once you've left with picture, putting all their products to the side, only a mild cleanser. And when people say all my products to the side, you know, this is where we get to remind them this works on multiple concerns. This is why this is a paradigm shift. It's skin science. It's very different than um, the products that are formulated. You know, this came out of science. And so that's why we have something. It's a one step that's working on multiple concerns. And that's when you're flipping through your pictures to show those areas that are, are worked on. Um, so after they've left, whether it's going to be our eye serum, the night cream and the day cream, our hydrogel patches, which are phenomenal, phenomenal. Um, I just heard a celebrity makeup artist just joined on another team, and I'm excited. I think they're going to be putting a Zoom together that we're going to be able to tap into. But he was saying, this is so amazing for people, especially, you know, like we know, 
a rough night. Now, I wouldn't be using them every single day. I heard a couple people that are like, I'm using them every other day. This eye area, they're meant, I would follow the instructions. That's just my suggestion, once a week or as needed. But we don't want to be doing these every single day. Our eye area is very sensitive. And even though these are, um, you know, hypoallergenic, pH balanced, the eye area, you just don't want to overuse, overuse anything. That's my opinion. Um, but with these, what he was saying is, to have someone come in, put these on for 20 minutes, take them off, the skin is prepped, ready for makeup. These are little tips that you can give your, you know, your friends that are experiencing these. Take a little spa day for yourself. Put on the patches, relax for 20 minutes. When you take them off, you're gonna apply the day cream and then apply a little bit of our eye serum if they're going with all of the products. Otherwise, you're gonna break it down. You're gonna have just a night cream experience, making sure they're using enough water, putting other products to the side, checking in a couple days in. Whatever product they're using, you want to make sure you are following up within a three-day time period just to make sure that everything's on track. And the reason being is people are used to do, doing things differently. And this is, um, we're different. We're unique. We have something that works better than anything else out there on the market right now. So we want to make sure that they're having that great experience and not getting to the point where at their 30 day money back guarantee or down the road where they could say, you know what, this has really been drying my skin out when we could have caught it before. But now if, um, again, if the objections come up, that's where you want to segue someone in just a third party to come in and ask these simple questions. So tell me, what are you using? How much water are you using? So I'm happy to get on those calls, but I also want you guys to know that have been in the business, you can do these calls for your brand partners as well. It's really important that we just know, are you using water? Are you putting your things to the side? Um, that's the most important thing. And nine times out of 10, again, we're never here to talk anyone into anything on the calls. We are here to see what they're experiencing and how can we make it better. But when, when I ask people if they're having a little drying or something's coming up and I say, well, if inevitably we find out they're using something, I said, if you're willing to put that to the side, can we try this experience again? And I cannot tell you how many people are like, Laura, oh my gosh, they got a mild cleanser. They're having a completely different experience. So that's the goal here. We want to make sure we're setting them up for success. Um, so once we've done that follow up, now let's go into actually picking up the product. You know, our fortune is in our follow-up, right? So when we're coming back to meet with someone, we always want to ask, what did you like best? I can't wait to hear your, you know, your experience. What did you like best? Now, um, if someone is like, oh my gosh, I love this, that's when you go right in and say, great. Do you want to try it for another 30 days? You have the 30-day money-back guarantee. Let's now not just have you feel the experience, but let's really see what can happen with these before and after pictures. And if they're ready to go, you guys, just say, what credit card do you want to use? I'm going to get you signed up right now. Assume that posture. Assume the sale. Because remember, this is a gift that we're sharing with people. We are here to genuinely help people look better, feel better. Um, I know myself, having problematic skin, to not have to wear foundation anymore has been such a dream. So I share, you know, you want to share with people what you've experienced. And um, if they're ready to go, great. If they aren't, that's okay too. This is not a hard sale. But what this is, is moving them to the next step. And so, you know, if they aren't ready to go, and let's say they're like, um, well, how much is it exactly? And if you're too nervous to even talk about what the price point is to get them signed up, then that's the time you want to segue to a third party. And how you want to do that is, you know, you don't need to say, do you mind if I get my friend on the phone? Because a lot of times people get very nervous. They don't want to get on with a stranger. They're going to feel pressured into this, even though none of us are like that. That's what the average person is thinking. So you want to say, you've been so wonderful to take this experience. I'm, I'm learning on my journey. I want to make sure, you know, we're running a lot of specials. Hold on for one second. Let me get Annie, Laura, Robin, Carla, Deborah, whomever on the phone, um, because I'm going to have them explain this to you. It's, it's, I smile and dial. That's really, that's the 30 seconds of courage you have to have. You smile and dial, where you're going to say, this is my friend. She's been doing it. Hi, uh, Annie. I'm here with my friend, Carla. 
she's been doing the five day feel good experience. She wanted to double check some pricing. Um, and I just wanted to listen and have you share this. Hold on for a second. And then you're going to mute and you're going to turn that over. If you're with someone in person, it's nice for you to be able to hear this because this is really how we do our training. The hands-on training is the most crucial. It allows you to know how to combat things in situations. And really, you know, this is meant to show people that we can be very busy, we don't have to be an expert, and it's third-party validation. So, you know, if they're not ready, then what's the next step? If they're not ready to um, purchase that day, then maybe that person on the line can invite them out to a wine and cheese party. That person can invite them to send over a video for maybe one of our other products. You know, this is where the expert usually can feel out and ask questions, and that's what our job is. Whether you're going to be... Um, you know, an expert or you're just providing something. We want to ask questions to people so we can find out how to fit that need. Um, okay, so we're sending the product out, having them put everything to the side. Very, very important, you guys. Pretty soon we're going to be coming out with the cleanser, but if not, mild, mild cleanser. We're going to follow up in a couple days for that bottle pickup. We're either going to assume the sale and get them going right then and there, or we're going to transition to getting someone else on the phone that can help move them along in that process. Um, and really, I think that's, that's the most important thing here for, for people that um, we don't want them to walk away blind with this. So we want them to know this is our liquid gold. We're sharing it with you. Let's see what happens. And pictures. You have to do pictures. And right there, if people are too nervous to do a picture, I tell them, I'm going to leave this bottle with you. But the only way I'm going to do it is if I'll be back to pick it up tonight if I don't get a, a picture from you. I joke with people. I keep it light. Most people are very nervous to do their photos because they think you're going to share it with everyone. You know, you see all these, but people are always like, don't put it on Facebook. I tell them, this is really for you to see. And if you love your changes, then I'll let you be the one to share it, you know. So really, this is about them. Everything is about them experiencing their experience. And that's really my most important setup because I want all of you guys to have um, the best experience possible. I want your, your clients, your potential clients. This is how we share. And it keeps it simple. People inevitably have a great result. And in the times that they don't or it's not for them, that's okay too, you guys. Not everyone likes sushi. You know, I want to close with this. This past week, um, I hadn't heard back from my girl in Colombia that's using the product. And I got a hilarious text. She's like, oh my gosh, I had friends in town. I was, I drank and I went to bed with Doritos, not my product. <laughs> but she said, but the few nights that I did do it, I really started to feel a change to my skin. But I followed up with those little, hey, honey, how are you? Checking in. Now I have another makeup artist that I haven't heard back from yet. That's okay. I'm going to go swing by and get the bottle today. We'll see what happens. And if she's not into it, we want to get that liquid gold back to start sharing with someone else. Okay, you guys. So if you have any questions, more specific questions, I wanted to keep this uh, basic overview right now, but I'm happy to talk for a couple of minutes. And thank you so much. That was, that was great, Laura. Really appreciate all that information. And I just wanted to let you guys know that, you know, I did record this yesterday. Our recording didn't go. So you can actually go back and she, she gave a lot of really important, important information uh, that I think we can all utilize. And so if you didn't get it all down, we're going to have the recording show up on our team page, but Laura, awesome training. Really? I mean, it, it really just reminds everybody to do those simple, simple activities. And I will tell you from a personal standpoint i did exactly what laura said i did the i gave the product told them it was a treatment called in a couple days to say how you know how did they love how their skin was feeling um and said said it did the follow-up yesterday and i said okay now that you've had your feel good experience are you ready to get your results and she's like yes and i signed her up uh, i'm signing her up today as a preferred customer and she's That's now looking awesome. for business so it was actually that simple uh, steps that Laura said. So I really, really uh, appreciate, Laura, you walking us all through it. Um, I know we went a little bit late today, but if anybody has any questions for Laura, I know she'd be uh, happy to answer them. Anybody out there have any questions? Comments? Okay. I do. Okay, Carla. Hey, Laura. Hi. Fantastic training. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, I noticed that 
for me, when I have the eye serum on, that I need to mix my, uh, like, a foundation or, or a uh, cover-up with a little moisturizer. Do you have any tips on that? Yes. Well, I will tell you, I have not had a ton of success with people that use heavy concealer. And I always set it up like this. This product is, is geared to take the place of your concealer. Now, a lot of times people will be like, huh? I, I don't know if I can go without my concealer. So I said, well, let's play around with this because you're right. Because it's a cream to powder finish, depending on what products are out there, they can intermix and ball up a little bit. So a couple of things. I always have people moisturize first. That's why I said day cream first. Um, if they don't have the day cream, um, then again, they can use a, a moisturizer at home. But we want to make sure there's nothing regenerating, no salicylic acids. A lot of times around the eye area, they will have glycolics and things in it. So I just tell them, moisturize. And then what I want them to try to do, and again, this will be a check-in in in a day or two to see if this works for them. I want them to use a little bit of their foundation and kind of blend up to the eye area. Now, obviously, we don't want them to have glowing white eyes (laughs) if they use a darker foundation. But I really explain to them that moisturize. And you're going to pat all the way in and you're going to let this be the area you want to bring your foundation up just to that area and i will tell you people are having great results with that now it took a little bit some people still were like oh i have to use my concealer so at that time you can add like you've seen the makeup artist i don't know if you've seen that video i always send that over to people that's another nugget you guys whenever i'm setting this up i also always send the videos that the company has put together because again we want to simplify this. We want them to see another third party. With my, my text message instructions, I didn't say that to you guys, but you know, I always send a follow-up that night to remind them to use it with water, with however it is. And I send that video so they can see, oh, a makeup artist does it this way. But really, it's you know, using a little moisturizer with that in conjunction if you want to add a little concealer or really have them try blending their foundation up just to this area and I've been surprised that that has actually worked very well okay I hope that helps thank you that's great okay you guys um I anybody else real quick I find that um using the eye serum on my when I use it on my lids it helps my makeup stay on Set. better it's wonderful it goes on more easily my eye makeup it goes on more easily and uh and stays all day and you know that's great some people are super sensitive with the eye area so i always like to tell them to at least try it here first if they feel great then absolutely use that upper lid i think that is a a great tip because it does set it helps it's it it sets and and conceals so i think that's awesome (laughs) those are great tips anybody else can I give one more? Yes. <laughs> I decided after being burned by not having, when I send a product out and not having people take their uh, before and after pictures and after a while saying, oh no, I didn't see a difference, um, to have them, if I'm going to mail it, have them uh, email or text me photos before I put it in the mail. I have decided to start doing that. And I think that's great. Whatever you can do to secure that and build that value, I agree with you. Um, I think it's, it's extremely important. You know, even myself a few weeks ago, I had someone that I thought for sure would know how to use the uh, eye serum. She promised a picture. She's gone MIA. We're going to meet up again here soon, but you're right. Those are little things that can help guarantee. That's why, you know, you don't want to ever assume that someone's going to be able to do this right. This is completely different. So I love that. Absolutely. Perfect. (laughs) All right, you guys. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Laura. I really appreciate your time this morning. I thought that was a great training. I'm going to download it, put it on the team page. If you guys want to go back, because there was lots and lots of great information in there. I hope everybody has an awesome day and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye. Thanks, Laura. Thanks, Thank Andy. you, guys. Thank you, Thank you Laura. Thank you, Laura. Love you guys. You're all such inspiration. Thank you. Thank you, Laura. Thank, Thank you, Annie. You, darling. Thank you.